Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drivin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the ADL drivers on your Windows 11 PC. These drivers are also known as Qualcomm HS USB Qt Loader 9008. So if a Qualcomm device having a Qualcomm chipset you could say gets heartbreak, then in those cases, your only course of action is to boot your phone to EDL mode, also known as emergency download mode, and then flash the unbreak firmware. For example, in case of OnePlus, at least till the OnePlus 9 series, it's the OPS firmware that you have to flash. But in normal cases, your PC will not be able to read the phone in EDL mode because the drivers will not be installed. So you will have to install these drivers on your PC beforehand and only then you could proceed ahead and flash the unbreak firmware on your phone. So on that note, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to disable the driver signature enforcement on your PC. If you don't do so, then Windows will not allow you to install the EDL drivers on your PC. So for that, you have to press and hold the shift key and while doing so, hit the restart button. So hold the shift key on your PC and click on the restart over here. Your PC will now boot to the Windows recovery environment. From there, you have to go to troubleshoot, then select advanced option and select startup settings. Let me show you the screenshots. So select troubleshoot from here, then select advanced option and then choose startup settings. You will now be taken to a page something like this. Hit the restart button and then you will be taken to the startup settings page. Now press the 7 or the F7 key wherein it lies the disabled driver signature enforcement. So your PC will now reboot to the OS and the driver signature has been disabled. Once that is done, let's now move ahead to the next step. So now you will have to boot your phone to EDL mode. If your phone is hardbreak, then it will already be in the EDL mode. However, if it's currently it could access the OS, then you have to, you could refer to my guide and get this job done. In short, if you could access the OS, then simply download the Android SDK platform tools from here. Let me show you. Get hold of the, yes, enable USB debugging from here. And then you have to download platform tools and extract the platform tools on your PC. Then simply open CMD window from here and you have to type in ADB reboot EDL and hit enter and this will boot your phone to EDL mode. But if your phone is currently in a heartbeat state, you will not be able to access the OS and you will not be able to type in any ADB command. So for that you will have to use the hardware key combination. In case of OnePlus phones, here's what you have to do. So first and foremost, unplug your phone from the PC. And once that is done, you will have to press and hold the volume up and volume down keys while holding both the keys. You will now have to connect the other end of your phone to the PC via USB cable. So let's do that and now check out the result. So use the Windows X shortcut keys and choose device manager. And now expand the other device or the port section, it might be in your case, in my case it's the other device and as you could see currently it's showing a QUSB bulk and a yellow exclamation mark. So this signifies that the drivers have not been installed. If the drivers have been installed, then you will get this message, Qualcomm HS USB QD loader. But since the drivers are not installed, I am currently getting a QUSB bulk as you could see from here. So we will now have to install the drivers at least. Up until this point, our phone is shown in the, at least in this mode as well, so we could not install the drivers. If your phone is even not, not visible even now, then you could try using a USB 2.0 port on your PC or use a different USB cable to make sure that at least your, your phone is visible on your PC. Be it any name, that does not matter. Just make sure that your phone is not visible on your PC. Once that is done, let's now move ahead and install the drivers onto our PC. So for that, you could get hold of the ideal drivers from this my guide so go to my guide and from here what you have to do is first of let's try the automatic installation so download the 64 bit from here and once you have got the 64 bit drivers you could simply install them so let me show you this is the uh, 64 bit driver files so this is the setup file so of 64 bit qd loader so click on yes in the prompt that appears now let's wait for a few seconds and in the first window, select WWAN DHCP and click on next. Then again, click on next, then select I accept. Then click on next and now click on install. And the drivers will now be installed. It will take only around 10 to 15 seconds at the very max. 
so let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll move ahead with the next step so the drivers have been now installed you could now click on finish so it's now asking us to restart our pc do note that this restart is compulsory it's not optional so click on yes to restart your pc now so let me do a restart and then i will be back so guys we have just rebooted our pc after installing the ideal drivers so these were the drivers which we have just installed let me show you so we have just installed the drivers did a reboot and now let's check out the result so use the windows x shortcut keys and choose device manager let's wait and now we'll have to expand the port section so as you could see our phone is now being shown as qualcomm which is usb qt loader this signifies that our pc is able to read the phone in ideal mode make sure that there are no yellow warning signs so regarding this as of now there could be three cases first off your phone should be shown as qualcomm which is usb qt loader as shown on our pc this signifies that the EDL connection has been established successfully and you could now move ahead and flash the firmware. The second case could be a yellow warning sign. If you are getting a yellow warning sign, then this signifies that the driver's signature has been re-enabled. So you will once again have to turn it off. For that, you will have to refer to my step 1. So press and hold the shift key and then from there go to troubleshoot advanced option startup settings. Click on restart and press the 7 or F7 key and with this, the driver's signature will be disabled and then you could again try booting your phone to EDL mode and this time around it should be listed as Qualcomm HS USB QD loader. Now the third scenario is you might still be getting something like let me show you it should be something along the line of random alphabet such as QUSB bulk CID number. So in such cases it signifies that the EDL drivers have not been installed so you will again have to install the EDL drivers. For that first off check mark this requirement and now instead of the automatic installation you will have to install the drivers manually so before that make sure to boot your phone to EDL mode as well I have listed out all the steps on how to boot to EDL mode once that is done let me show you how to install the drivers manually so on my guide instead of the automatic this time get hold of the manual drivers so let's download the Qualcomm drivers from here and I will show you how to manually install it so let's download it and then you'll have to extract them onto your PC. The download should only take a few seconds. The file size is quite small, around 250 KB, I suppose. So with this, we have got the driver's file. Let's now extract them onto your PC. So it will take only a few seconds. Let's extract them over here itself. Select extract all and hit the extract button. So with this, we have got the manual driver files and we will now install the files manually so let me show you that as well so this is the driver file inside the folder let me show you the driver file so our main files are these three the pc will automatically pick up those files you don't have to give the individual file let me show you what i mean so as of now if your phone is being shown as something like this open device manager right click on your phone and select properties then you have to or rather right click on it and select update drivers then go to browse my computer for drivers then click on let me pick and now you have to click on have disk and click on the browse button and now you have to select the entire Qualcomm folder so let me show you once if we go to the desktop and from here access the downloads folder so select the entire qualcomm directory i would suggest and click on open once you do so windows will then install the drivers and then the issue should be rectified however in rare cases if you are still facing this issue then you will have to try using a different usb cable use the usb 2.0 port on your pc try using a usb port or usb hub or if nothing works try out on a different pc and then check out the result so guys as soon as you see your pc in this mode it signifies that the ideal mode have been established and now you could move ahead and flash the firmware using the tool of your choice so for reference i am using a oneplus phone so i will now be able to flash this firmware using the msm tool so you could use this tool from my guide i have listed 
MSM tool for all the uh, OnePlus phones. So for instance, this is the OnePlus 8T. And let me now launch the tool and verify the ideal connection for you as well. I'll show you that. Do know that for the OnePlus phones, it's available till from OnePlus 1 till OnePlus 9 series. And the OnePlus 11 series is currently in the development. With that said, for all the other phones, the Unbreak tool is not available. You will have to get in touch with the service center employees. So as of now, let's check out. So as you can see, my phone is being shown as connected. Let me unplug my phone and replug. See if I unplug it, the phone is now gone. It's shown as NA, not available. And if I replug it back in, it will again show as connected. Likewise, let me open the device manager as well. So as you could see, my phone is gone from here as well. And as soon as I connect my phone onto my PC once again, you'll be able to see as connected under ED, under MSM tool as well as in the device manager. So guys, on that note, I round off this video on how you could install EDL drivers.